All righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, joined by Aoife Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning. And good morning to you. And we're outside of the Science Center because we're maintaining safe space. We're outside, of course, the elements. We're maintaining so, uh, physical distancing as well. Yeah, All so right. um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about glove use because people are being careful, which is really good. We want people to stay safe. Um, but uh, we actually have a nurse on staff at the Science Center who talked to me a little bit about glove use and what they train them to do in nursing school, and she wanted me to share some of that with you today. Because wearing gloves are important, but yes. people maybe are not using them the right way or certainly not removing them the right way. Exactly. Right. Yes, yeah, so we'll go over some proper use. So for the purpose of this, I'm so sorry, but you are sick. We're going to pretend. Yes. I'm asymptomatic and this is COVID-19. Yes, so, so COVID maybe you just coughed in your hands and now that virus is all over your hands. Um, viruses are a little sticky, so they will stick to your skin. They'll stick to those gloves. So right now you have a virus all over your hands. So yeah, we're in a grocery over. store. So now we're in a grocery store. We're in a grocery right. store. You see something you want on the shelf. Oh, look at this, this can tickled? of beans. Oh, no, this is actually, I think this is pineapple. I'm in the produce oh, okay, section. Yeah. Like, look at that. I love some pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> new pair of glasses. Look at that pineapple. <laughs> All right. All right, so Mark's walked off. Um, and then I come in and I'm wearing my gloves because I want to be careful. Maybe I'm a high risk patient. I thought too much sugar. Too much. See, I, I love pineapple. Yeah, okay. I want that and everything. So I'm going to grab that and I'll put that in my cart. Um, but here's my face. Mm. Right? So pretty quickly after that, maybe my nose is itchy. I don't know. <laughs> now all of a sudden I have that virus all over my face. So even though it wasn't on my hands yep. at any point, uh, without thinking, I just touched my face, which we do a lot. I do all the time. And now that virus is stuck to my face, can easily make it into uh, my mouth, my nose. Right, right, right. Um, so when you're wearing gloves, think about them as if they're covered in paint. You don't want that paint on your uh, face, on your hair. So imagine that your gloves are covered in paint. Um, and like you said, we're going to talk about how to take them off. Because hopefully as well, people, if they're wearing gloves, maybe also wearing masks, but there's yeah. still um, you know, a, a safe and proper way to remove the gloves. Exactly, because right. you don't want all that stuff that's on the outside of your gloves on the inside. So what you're going to do, you're going to take uh, one of your hands, you're going to pinch the palm of your other glove on the outside, and you're going to pull that glove off so all of that gross stuff doesn't touch your hand. So okay. now this hand's nice and clean, right? Balled up in the palm of the other hand. And then you're gonna take your clean fingers and sneak them in underneath your glove, so you're on the inside, and flip that glove inside out. Now all that virus, all that bacteria, is trapped on the inside of this little pouch, and you can safely throw that away in the trash can. And that's important too. Yeah. It needs to go in the trash can, not on a parking lot surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please in a trash can, not on the sidewalk. Um, but yeah, this can safely be thrown away. And uh, my coworker was saying in nursing school, they actually practice this. This is something they train on how to take gloves on and off properly. So. All right. So you clearly need to go and disinfect yourself. <laughs> yes. Because you've got paint <laughs> slash COVID-19 all over your face. Um, but you guys are d always doing neat at home, fun experiments that families can do on their own. You got a whole blog about it. Yeah, yeah. So you can check out our blog. It's ctsciencecenter.org slash blog for fun activities you can do at home. Um, we have some really cool blog posts about different things. So if you're bored, check it out. And we also have cataloged all the good at home, fun, family safe uh, science Sundays from the past that we have done uh, all kind of grouped together at WFSB.com. So lots of good options for you uh, while you are uh, in your in your quarantine and while you're isolating during this this uh, time that we're living through. Yeah. All right, Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.